in this session we'll see how to determine the voltage regulation of an alternator by indirect method we know that kva rating of uh, commercial alternators are very high that is in terms of megavolt ampere then it is not possible to test these alternators in the laboratory because they will take a large power is required therefore there are several indirect methods are adopted to determine the voltage regulation of the alternator these methods require only small amount of power as compared to the power required for the direct loading method if you want to directly load 500 ma alternator we need that much load in the laboratory it is not possible and the power required is also more therefore there are indirect method they need a very small amount of power to determine the, the voltage regulation such uh, methods are there are several methods of determining the voltage regulation one is the synchronous impedance method or it is also called as the emf method the second method that is ampere term method or also it is called as mmf method there is one more method that is what you are calling is the zpf method or portier triangle method for either of the following for either method that is whether you go for emf method or mmf method the data required are three one is the armature resistance the second one is open circuit characteristics that is occ and the third the what we required is short circuit characteristics that is scc these are the three data are required to determine the voltage regulation by either emf method or emmf method first we will go into the the synchronous impedance method or also it is called as emf method of determining the voltage regulation in this method the finding the voltage regulation is of the alternator our object from this particular uh, method is to determine synchronous impedance thereby you have to find out the synchronous reactance by detecting the resistance in synchronous impedance the method involves the the following steps that is the first step is to you have to plot the open circuit characteristics and the short circuit characteristics on the same field base current that is base you have to take field current as a common base then you have to take the open circuit voltage on the y axis as well as the short circuit current then while drawing this open circuit characteristics what you have to do here is you have to take four phase values because usually in the numerical what they are mentioning is the line to line voltage that you have to convert into the phase voltage then you have to draw the, the open circuit characteristics then after drawing the open circuit and the short circuit characteristics for a particular field current you have to note on what is the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current that is open circuit voltage you are getting for example if you want to find out the rated voltage for how you have to mark the point on the open circuit is if anything is not mentioned regarding whether you have to find out the regulation using the saturated or unsaturated reactance then what you have to do is you have to mark the point of occ corresponding to the rated value of the the alternator then you find out what is the corresponding value of the field current for the same field current what is the short circuit current means you are getting open circuit voltage for one particular field current for the same field current what is the the short circuit current then you have to find out the impedance by open circuit voltage divided by short circuit current for the same field current this is the procedure to be followed that is first you have to draw open circuit characteristics short circuit characteristics and consider a field current if corresponding to rated voltage on a oc and short circuit current current corresponding to the same field current then effect of the armature reaction in this case in the synchronous impedance method that is the armature reaction is treated as one of the drop that is why it is called as a emf method actually there are three the factor which affecting the the terminal voltage one is ira drop 
another one is ion syndrome then there is a armature reaction the armature reaction is a not a voltage drop armature reaction is a not a voltage drop it is because of the modification of the the armature the flux on the main flux there is a reduction or increase in the voltage depending upon the type of the load which you are connecting across the terminals of the alternator but however it is a variation of the the main flux in the case of the armature reaction however that effect is treated as one of the 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 drop that is the impedance drop in the form of xa therefore if you are listing out the total drop in the the alternator it is a drop due to the armature resistance i told you one the second one is there is a drop due to the leakage reactance the third one is the drop due to armature reactance actually it is drop it is drop due to the armature reaction you are assumed in the case of synchronous impedance method but it is because of variation of the the magnet magnetic field okay here we treated this as a one of the the drop therefore the total drop is in the form of ir drop ixl drop and ixa drop therefore if you are adding xl and xa drops then what you are getting is the reactance drop that is synchronous reactance drop then once if you are getting the drops then it is easy to find out the what is the value of that is i mark here xl and xa i am combined then it is made as xs i am taking the common then it is i into r plus j x s is nothing but synchronous impedance therefore e can be calculated as v an angle of 0 degree that is voltage that term voltage is taken as a reference and the current i either it is a lag or a lead or a unity power factor it is depending upon the load then you have got a synchronous impedance you have got a synchronous impedance that is to the terminal voltage if you are adding the synchronous impedance drop then what we are getting is e that is why it is called as synchronous impedance method then the value of phi we are taking plus in the case of the leading power factor and minus in the case of lagging power factor the same thing is written here then you can remember here that voltage and current should be expressed in terms of power phase quantity in the calculations then pressure is simple once again i am repeating with the help of the graph first you have to take the base as the field current it is a common base that is in one of the y axis we are taking the open circuit voltage that is voc in another you have to take the short circuit current with a different scale then first you have to draw the the open circuit characteristics for a different value of the field current you have to mark the points on the uh, corresponding to open circuit voltage you have to draw the open circuit characteristics then similarly with the same field current what is short circuit current then you have to draw the short circuit characteristics to determine the synchronous impedance what you have to do is corresponding to the rated voltage the corresponding to the rated voltage you have to mark the point on the occ you have to mark the point on the occ then for that particular voltage what is the the field current required this is the field current required for generate the the rated voltage under open circuit characteristics for the same field current what is the short circuit current you have to note on means this open circuit voltage divided by this short circuit current for a same field current that gives the impedance that is this is isc this is your voc this voc by isc that gives the voc by isc for same field current then what we are getting is synchronous impedance if you know the value of ra then xs can be calculated this xs is corresponding to the rated voltage that is why it is called as xs adjusted if in the numerical is not asked anything about the the saturated portion or unsaturated portion just you have to mark the point corresponding to the rated voltage of the alternator that is the given quantity in the the numerical okay corresponding to that you have to mark the point of the occ corresponding to that you have to find out the field current and corresponding to the same field current what is the short circuit current you have to find out so that this voc divided by isc gives the synchronous impedance then you have to find out xs okay then if we ask you to calculate the regulation for the linear portion of the the occ or unsaturated portion of the occ then you can take any part on the 
airline and you have to find out POC divided by ISC. Any point, suppose I mark the air point on the uh, airline, then corresponding to this, this is VOC. For the same fuel current, it is my ISC. Then once again, you have to find out ZS. Then you have to find out here XS unsaturated. Then you have to make use of this for calculation. If it is not anything is not mentioned there, you have to do this one only. That is corresponding to the rate of voltage. You have to mark the, the field current. For same field current, you have to find it ISC. Thereby, you have to find out what is the value of XS. Once if we know the value of XS, we know the value of RA, we know the terminal voltage, we know the full load current, we know the power factor, then you have to find out the, the value of E. That is, you have to find out from the this, uh, circuit, equivalent circuit diagram, it is quite evident that is, it is E, this RA and XS, V is taken as a reference, V an angle of 0 degree, IA an angle of 5 plus or minus or 0 power for, zero value in the case of unity power factor. Then E is the, the generated voltage or the internal voltage, what you are calling. Then if you are drawing the, the vector diagram, you have to take V as a reference and IA is lagging P by an angle of 5, then I am adding IRA to the V then to I axis so that I am getting the value of E. From this vector diagram, it is quite evident that the value of E is equal to V an angle of 0 degree plus I A an angle of plus or minus 5 depending upon the power factor R A plus J axis. Then the negative sign of the phi we are taking for a lagging power factor, positive for the, the leading power factor. Then it is approximate the formula that we are using in the, the numerical. If the, we are not interested in the accurate one using this, we can go for this also. That is V plus I R A cos phi plus or minus I X S sin phi. Just we are get, arriving this equation by resolving I A, R A and I X S into its X and Y component and adding to the V and making the, the right angle triangle and you are finding out the value of the E. This also, this gives the approximate value of E, this gives the, the accurate value of E. Once we know the value of E, then you can find out the, the regulation. Here, plus sign is meant for lagging and minus sign for, for leading for, for this particular equation. Don't get confused. Okay. Then, once we know the value of E, to go for this particular uh, um, method, you can adopt so that you can get the, the accurate value of the E so that voltage regulation can be calculated as E minus V divided by V into 100. This is how we have to find out the, the regulation by EMR method. Just you take one numerical on this particular method, then we will clarify the amount of. Some of the drop off of this method as it gives the approximate value, it is not give the accurate value. At the same time, here in this particular method, so you are getting the regulation more than the rated value, or more than the actual value. That is why it is called as the pessimistic method of the finding of the voltage regulation. That is, here we are getting the more value because under short circuit condition, the resistance is very, very small, then it is uh, almost it is uh, drawing the lagging current, so that in the case of the lagging, we know that the armature uh, total re uh, effect is it is a demagnetic effect. That is why we are getting a erroneous result in the case of this. But however, to estimate, roughly you have to estimate, this method is very useful. And however, here in this particular method, you are getting the regulation more than the actual value. That is why it is called as a pessimistic method. So one of the, the problem, we will take it to solve this, the EMF method here. It is 1200 kV transformer is given 3300 volts. This is a rated voltage. This is a rating of the alternator, 50 hertz transformer. And armature resistance is also given 0.25 ohm. And field current of 40 amperes produces short current of 200 amperes. He is given when the field current is 40 amperes, short circuit current is 200 amperes. For a same field current of 40 amperes, open circuit voltage 1100 volts, line to line he is given. Just you have to read the the problem very carefully. For a same field current, short circuit current is given and open circuit voltage is also given. He asks you to find out the calculate the regulation on 0.8 power factor lagging as well as the leading power factor. 
just will work out on lagging power factor then i will give the, the assignment for the leading power factor okay now you can list out the 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 data it is star connected then 200 kb 3300 volts are is given for if is equal to 40 amperes short circuit current is 200 open circuit voltage is 11 these are the given data then the first thing is you have to convert all the the line values into its phase value that is the rated voltage is 3300 volts its phase value is v per phase is 3300 divided by root 3 because it is star connected 1905.25 volts you are getting here short circuit current is given as a line value but it, it is star connection line value is equal to phase value that is equal to 200 amperes VOC is line value that we have to convert into the phase value by dividing root 3 therefore 635.08 volts then I want the rated current to find out the regulation at full load current therefore what is the full load current? full load current can be calculated from the volt ampere rating of the alternator that is 3 phase volt ampere rating is nothing but root 3 times VLI this 1200 kb is nothing but root 3 VLI therefore IL is equal to 3 phase volt ampere divided root 3 times VL that is 1200 kb 1200 in 10 raise to 3 divided by root 3 into 33 what I am getting is 209.94 amperes that is this is how you have to find out the the full load current of the alternator then the i per phase this is the line value then per phase value is same as line value because it is star connected it is 209.94 amperes once we know all these data voltage regulation equation you have to make use of e minus v divided by v into 100 here our object is to find out the value of e then how to find out that this is another formula what I am using see here the ZS can be calculated as this open circuit voltage divided by short circuit current for the same field current here he is given for 40 amperes of the uh, the field current the the per phase open circuit voltage what I am getting is 635.08 that is this you can see open circuit voltage 1100 is given that you have to convert into per phase value therefore what I am getting is 635.08 and for a same field current short circuit current is 200 amperes the same data is given for 40 amperes 200 amperes and 1100 1100 holds is line to line that you have to convert into a phase value that is 635.08 what I am getting therefore you are finding out the value of ZS ZS is 3.1 or 3.175 ohm then we know the value of RA then you have to find out XS that is what I am getting here is 3.165 ohm once we know the value of RA XS I at the power factor then you have to find out the value of E that is for 0.8 power factor lag I am calculating E per phase that is I am using the empirical form formula here that is V plus IR cos phi plus IXS sin phi for lagging from this for formula. V is given that is 1095 that is you are already calculated that is the per phase value I am talking about this. This is the value of 1905.25. Just you have to substitute the values of IA and that is RA and 0.8 and 209 V this is I and XS into sin phi then what I am getting is the E is 2345.94 then if you are substituting this equation you are getting the regulation as 23.12 percent this is uh, using the formula the another the formula you have to use this is the accurate one what I am getting that is V is taken as a uh, reference that is 109 uh, 1905.25 an angle of 0 degree plus 209.94 here lagging power factor 36.86 Resistance is 0.25, reactance is 3.165. Then, if you are calculating the value, what you are getting is 2398. You can compare here. Here you are getting 2345. Here you are getting 2398.55. Then, if you are substituting in E minus V divided by V, then what you are getting?